Four Republican senators announced yesterday that at least at present, they could not support the Senate uh, Republican uh, health bill. And today we actually have a fifth. This is uh, Dean Heller of Nevada, who had a press conference with Governor Sandoval. Uh, and he had this to say about the bill. It's not the answer, it's simply not the answer. In this form, I will not support it. Heller said he can't support a bill that quote, takes insurance away from tens of millions of Americans and hundreds of thousands of Nevadans. Uh, and then finally, uh, also on uh, the insurance premiums, he says there isn't anything in this bill that would lower premiums. And as we broke down, there's a lot in there that will uh, inevitably raise your premiums. And so at least as of right now, Heller is the number five, and that makes it that much more difficult for them to pass this. And he's 100% right about what he says. Yeah. I mean, and, and he probably said it in a softer way than can be said. I mean, if, uh, if you miss John breaking down the healthcare bill, and it was just sort of a succinct summary of what the bill won't do and will do, you ought to go back and take a look at it, because I thought that was really some some great work. This is a bill that's that will, where I disagree with you, but go on. Uh, <laughs> it will it will increase uh, it'll increase premiums, uh, the, the, the caps that exist, you, you know, some of the broad strokes anyway, about this bill. Uh, we still don't have a CBO report on it, and that will come. But it, this this bill obviously is a is a money grab. This is a bigger. Money, I wasn't a fan of Obamacare initially because I felt it was a, it was a money grab for insurance companies. Yeah, this is a money grab for rich people, unlike anything I've ever seen. Yeah, I mean, and, and 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 in the and in its wake, it will leave a lot of sick and dying people, literally. Yeah, and it's it's interesting how blatantly they're going after certain groups that generally in politics have a little bit more protection, like the uh, allowing the insurance companies to to jack up the rates specifically on older Americans. I agree. Like older Americans are smart and vote, and so generally the politicians pay them so much deference. That's exactly right. In this right. case, it's like imagine the ads that are going to be run when your grandma's health insurance premium theoretically goes up by two, three, or five times. We ran that uh, great. Ad that they were running. Remember the ad that we ran, the campaign ad. Uh, it might have just been a general ad about uh, the woman going and oh. uh, hawking her wedding ring. Yes. Grandma was also in some kind of the the father gave away his uh, his pickup truck. He sold his pickup truck to get money for the kid who's in the hospital. Right, right, and and, and these things literally will happen. But John is right. You know the AARP. That is a group of people who have yeah. a serious lobbying power in Washington. Those are all senior citizens. I mean, you become AARP way before you think you you should be. Mm -hmm. But the fact is, that's a constituency that has some lobbying power. So for them to be carved out specifically as people who will have premiums raised, uh, that's amazing. And of course, it's unsustainable. So you're telling me that you're going to raise premiums on the oldest Americans who will need it, who are going to be sick and are going to be in desperate situations vis-a-vis -vis their health. You're going to raise rates on them. Uh, it's it's unsustainable. You're going to lose them, in other words. Yeah. So it's a it, yeah. We might unfortunately literally lose them. Right. We'll literally lose them, and too. of course. And, and what will happen is the younger people will opt out of the whole thing because- yeah. the, And there's nothing in the Senate bill to require them to have the health insurance. And that's why the sustainability becomes a question, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, the AARP has already put out a press release, press release there, of course, against this. Uh, so that's gonna be consequential. And that might be one of the things that's causing Heller uh, to think about this. Um, Heller, by the way, is also up for reelection in 2018 in a state won by Hillary Clinton. What a coincidence. So that is a, that's a consideration. Now, it could be- a policy thing. I mean, this is a state that has expanded uh, Medicaid under the ACA. And so he's right, a lot of uh, people in that state have gotten health insurance thanks to uh, the ACA. And so that could be lost. So he's considered a moderate Republican, uh, which means that someday he'll run as a Democrat. Um, <laughs> and so it could be that he's just being honest. But regardless of the reasons, he said he can't support a bill that takes millions off of uh, health insurance. Which is different than Ted Cruz's problem. Ted Cruz wants a little bit more leniency for the insurance companies, and they can maybe provide that, modifying the bill. But they're not going to modify the bill in a way that stops it from taking health insurance away from millions. And so Heller seems like a harder no at this point to overcome than some of the others. This bill is going to have so much stink on it, no one's going to want to go near it, I think. And when I say no I one, so. I mean, they're not going to have, you know, 
And have we been wrong before about these predictions? Oh, wait, yeah, that's right, we have been. Yes, so. We have been, yes, take everything we say with a grain of salt. But don't take in too many grain of salts because your health insurance isn't gonna be worth much when you get older. <laughs> you gotta watch your diet. Um, but yeah. <laughs> this is, but look, the, there are some 10 foot pole marks starting to show up on this bill. That's yeah. all I'm saying, and, and, that, and Heller's one of them. Yeah, the, the interesting thing, and this is based off of almost no understanding about how Washington DC really works, but the more it seems unlikely for it to pass, the more reason there is for those who are sort of on the fence to come out against it. Because you don't wanna be tied to this thing any more than you need to be, even short of a vote. If you weren't coming out vocally against it, you're still possibly gonna be threatened by this thing. And so Heller makes that a little bit more likely, I think. One other thing I wanted to say, I tweeted about this because it struck me, it's odd that of all the things that are in this bill, obviously one of the biggest problems we have is that it's basically a gigantic tax cut disguised as a healthcare bill and it has all these tax cuts. And so far, I don't know that I've seen Trump or McConnell or any other Republican senator ask the question, why do those tax cuts need to be in there? Like theoretically, you wanna make all these other changes to health insurance. Okay, you can try to explain why that's necessary to blankety blank and blah, blah, blah. Why are the tax cuts in there at all? Well, that's a great point, it hasn't been mentioned. I make them defend that, they'll defend it, they'll be fine to defend it. But make them go on the record explaining why millions should be taken off their health insurance at the same time that Sheldon Adelson gets $44 million. Like at least make them say it on video. Yeah, the one thing that has been discussed, I mean, a lot is how this bill was crafted under sort of cover of darkness. But yeah. I think it's a fair point that now that we know some of the specifics about the bill, we really have given them a pass on a lot of those specifics. And yeah. that's one of them, yeah, why the, why the huge tax cut? Exactly, yeah, I mean, we obviously we understand why, but- Right, the I whole thing's in service of the tax cut, obviously. Exactly, I would love right. to see them have to, have to say that. And I don't know that we're gonna get it in the actual debate because it looks like it's gonna be about 10 hours. 10 hours on one of the biggest bills in years. Insanity. It's amazing, there were literally dozens of public hearings in the ACA. The debate went on for almost a year. All these attempts to get the Republicans involved and the different factions of the Democratic Party fighting about it. And that's obviously the, the cause of some of the problems that we both have on the bill. And we're gonna get 10 hours, 10 hours, that is insanity. Young Turks membership creates independent media. Believe me. No ads. Believe me. All the shows, believe me. On demand, believe me. Support independent media, believe me. It's awesome, tremendous. You'll love it, believe me. And by the end, you'll be thinking, you know, I'm like a smart person. TYTnetwork.com/slash/join.